Hello and welcome to our first of ID screencast. On this first screencast, we are showing how to manage main console is to be installed. For this purpose, we have a bot with Ubuntu Linux operating system and MySQL database. At first, you should verify to meet the installation requirements. You should create a MySQL user who acts as the owner of tables and objects. At this example, it's created by using a rental privilege on a user named SoFID. Next, we are verifying the user can effectively access MySQL database. Afterwards, the MySQL configuration parameters must be checked. It's important to check that the match allowed packet parameter has a minimum value of 128 megabytes. Once the prerequisites are met, you can proceed to the installation itself. Now you must run the installer. The minus C parameter enforces the use of the installer in test mode. If the installation parameter is omitted, the graphical installer will be used instead. The first installation step is to read and accept the terms of the GNU public license. Next, you must specify the directory where the console should be installed into. Next, you must enter the hostname and domain apart. It is important to specify the domain name as it will be used to generate the session cookies. Next step is to configure the database, in this example MySQL. You must enter MySQL Manager username and password, as well as the desired user for each SoFID object owner. In this example, both users are the same. Once the installation is complete, you can start SoFID console service. This service will publish a web service on port 8080. This port will be used by users and administrators to configure SoFID. After a while, the objects will be created in the database and the console requests for a username and password. By default, the installation creates a user named admin with password change it. Once logged in, you can proceed to configure SoFID, connect manage systems, create identities and so on. Finally, you should set the symbolic links needed for the service to start automatically when the operating system boots up. And that's all. Thank you very much for your attention and I expect it's been worth watching to this screencast.